Today, I am sitting with one of the most influential directors of this world. This man and his brother gave us three big Marvel blockbusters and is about to give us a movie that will be talked about decades and generations. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Joe Russo in the house. Welcome, sir. Welcome to India. That was an amazing introduction. I did not, I did not pay him for that introduction, <laughs> by the way. That, he just came up with that all by himself. So, sir, uh, how, how's your experience you know, visiting India? It's been fantastic. You know, it's, all, it's crazy when you're doing the press junkets because, you, you know, you don't get to spend a lot of quality time because uh, you're uh, working and, um, and talking the whole time. But it's been fantastic. Every, the, the country had a great fan event uh, last night, and the fans were just incredible. We yeah. saw a photo of yours savoring on the Indian food. <laughs> yes. How, how was it? <laughs> Did you like it? Fantastic. I love Indian food. <laughs> Uh, I've been told, though, that I have not reached a sufficient level of spice yet. Uh, so <laughs> I've got to work on that today. Can I mention yeah. the fact Joe's looking like the doctor from uh, Winter Soldier? He's looking exactly like the one Sir Cameron himself. In the I'm movie. wearing the exact <laughs> outfit. <laughs> that, that's that amazing. <laughs> that's, you rescued <laughs> Nick Fury. Yeah. So, sir, I wanted to ask, uh, so this movie had a huge impact on the Indian box office. Yeah. This movie broke all foreign movie records in India. People were cheering in, in the in the theater when Thor arrived in Wakanda or Captain America came out of the So how proud do you feel seeing all these reactions? It's it's incredible and that's the best part of, of making these movies is when you get to share them with an audience. I was a fan myself before I became a filmmaker. I you know, watched a lot of movies as a kid and had a lot of emotional responses to movies. And now as filmmakers, my brother and I try to give those same emotional responses to audiences. And when audiences respond the, the way that they did in, in India during Infinity War, I mean, that just it changes everything about the movies and why you make them. And so it was a, it was a mandate of ours to come here first on the tour. This is, this is the beginning of the press tour. And uh, we haven't even finished the movie yet. And, uh, and I jumped on a plane to come over here because, because of the way that the audiences here responded to Infinity War. That is amazing. So Joe, sir, has seen all, the, all your reactions in theaters, guys. You know it. So, sir, uh, I wanted to ask that uh, last year I met Joe, sir, at the Singapore junket. And he promised me that he'll be coming to India. And here he is. So I thank you for that, first yes. of all. And thank, thank you for asking <laughs> me to come here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. And last year, I, in an interview, I jokingly asked him, like a fun question, who dies in Infinity War? And he answered me, everyone. And I'm tired. I'm not going to be. <laughs> so, sir, I want to ask you how difficult it is as a filmmaker. So we have been seeing this Infinity Saga right. for 10 years. How difficult is it to protect the spoilers? What measures and what extent have you went through? You know, I mean, it's, I, I think that we've learned a few key lessons about how to protect spoilers. One, obviously, is that you don't give anyone the script. And <laughs> so if they don't have the script, they don't know what happens in the movie. Uh, and with the actors, we write fake scenes or they get very limited amounts Ooh. of material. When you're working on a movie like Infinity War, you know, Star-Lord doesn't need to know what's going on with Captain America. They're in very different sections of the film. Uh, and so they just each get the lines from that section of the film that they're in. They can understand their motivation because they're following their storyline. So they ultimately don't know what happens. The, all of the uh, characters who, uh, who died at the end of that movie um, you know, a lot of those actors were told the day of what was going to happen. So mm -hmm. we protected that, that secret for the entire shooting of the film. And then, of course, there's people like Tom Holland or Mark <laughs> Ruffalo that don't get any script. <laughs> we have someone just read their lines to them on set the day that they get there. That's all they know. That's always yeah. Tom and Mark are called spoiler bros. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard on news today that Tom was not allowed to read the script of it nope. at all. He didn't know who he was acting opposite of. <laughs> he had no idea what was happening in any scene in the movie. <laughs> That's yes. really challenging yes. as a director. <laughs> it's the only way to protect the... Co you know what? It's easier for an actor when they're doing interviews uh, to not spoil anything if they don't know anything. So <laughs> we've learned that lesson. That is amazing. Tom Holland, yeah. if you're watching this, which you <laughs> are, I know. <laughs> yeah. He's challenging you as an actor. That's right. <laughs> so, sir, um, I wanted to ask this. So, you know, things are going around. A lot of talk is between Ant-Man and Thanos. Can we get yes. an Ant-Man versus Thanos spin-off? <laughs> yes, we can get an Ant-Man and Thanos spin-off. Uh, uh, I, I, have we traced the original source of the theory? I want to know who is responsible for it. Can we, can we do that, guys? So Joe wants to ask who started off this theory. This yeah. Ant-Man versus Thanos theory. I'm sure it's someone on Reddit. Uh, <laughs> 
but it was a pretty uh, it was a pretty ingenious theory. Too bad we didn't think of it before we made the movie. Okay, so I wanted to ask this question: Who is the most notorious on the set of you know all the movies? Like the one who keeps pranking on from the cast members? Downey certainly has the biggest personality, and you know he has a. Uh, an area that you know we call Downey Land, where it's sort of um, his, tra you know, he's got several trailers that are encircled, and you know he's got a couple of picnic tables in the middle of it where he hosts lunch every day for the actors, and you know on Halloween he'll have a band come and play Halloween songs, <laughs> or you know uh, uh, or he'll have a jazz trio come and he'll do things that are really fun and interesting for the cast and. Um, so everyone can stay close and you know really build their sense of camaraderie. Uh, so I think for certain he is um, he is uh, the biggest personality on set. He there was uh, uh, probably the coolest thing I saw the entire time we were working on the movies that we saw Robert do was as a thank you for working with Chris Evans. He gave Chris Evans a car, uh, and uh, it was a uh, refurbished Mustang that was painted blue. In Captain yeah. America colors, and you know, it was pretty incredible. Hearing that, sir, can I can I get to cameo in a Marvel movie, please? I'm ready to play a CGI I alien, know, you a get fat a, alien. You get a <laughs> car if you can play a Marvel movie. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, just tell Robert what your favorite colors are. <laughs> so, the last question I would like yeah. to ask. So, it's my genuine request. Okay, please pass on this message to Kevin, sir. I love him, okay, and all his yes. vision of how he has, you know, brought this Marvel Studios ahead. And can you please request him to bring an Indian origin superhero movie in Phase Four or Phase Five? I will absolutely request that when I go back. You I think, yeah. I, like I said, I think it's getting incredibly diverse. You can just see it; it's evident in the movies that they're making. The performance of those movies at the box office uh, is reinforcing the notion that these movies should be as diverse as possible and speak to global audiences. And people are so passionate here in India that I can only imagine how an Indian superhero would be received. Maybe we would be as excited as the Africans after seeing Black Panther, uh, Indian movie, Maharashtra forever. Let's hope that happens very soon. <laughs> Thank you, Joe, sir. It's Thank an you. absolute honor yeah. to be here with you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Sir. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Great so questions. Thank you.